and welcome to another edition of We Stream! So it has finally happened! Epic Rap Battles of History has released their Joker vs Pennywise, or titling it The Joker vs Pennywise. It's a little later than they had originally said when they leaked the audio on YouTube, but here we are. I made sure I didn't listen to the audio, a lot of you asked me to react to the audio, I was like no, we're waiting for the video. And now we are at the third Joker vs Pennywise reaction that I've done in the last week or so. Whew. But before we get into this reaction, I am a musician if you are new to the channel. I make my own content, you should check some of that out. Show more personality than bony MCs easily. I'm failing my face with plastic, but I'm more real than your bombastic antics. I'm a Halloween cactus compared to your slapstick. Seems like standard practice. The mask you wear is more tragic. And that's the plug. So we're gonna get right into this, do some bar breakdown, have a few laughs. Let's go. Alright, so our Joker style. This is uh, the uh, yellow gloved, yellow tie, it looks like, green suit, well, green uh, vest or shirt and purple jacket. I think this is kind of more of the comic book Joker, just design wise. I don't know uh, character reference wise if they're going to be specific to a Joker or voice wise if they're going to be specific. But when I look at this, this looks like comic book Joker, which would be most famously known as the Joker as portrayed by Mark Hamill. All right, and your Pennywise is from the It movies that have come out in the last couple years, uh, not the Tim Curry It from the 90s made for TV. None of these have used Tim Curry's It. No one's showing Tim Curry any love. But of course, Tim Curry was really the only good thing about that old 90s made-for-TV movie anyway, so I could kind of see why people try to just forget that that ever happened. Here we go. In my first appearance, the bat was supposed to slay me, but I can't be killed, that's why they cast a phoenix to blame me! Okay, we're starting right away, so... Let me back that up, so I'll show you what he just said there. In my first appearance, the bat supposed to slay me, but I can't be killed, that's why they cast a phoenix to blame me. So that's an epic opening bar. This is definitely just whatever Joker that they want it to be, because he talks about his first appearance. We're going to the Batman way back when, first time the Joker appeared, which I believe is actually in Batman issue one. Um, and he's saying the bat was supposed to slay me, that's why they cast a phoenix to, to play me. So, originally, the Joker was planned to be killed off by Batman in his first comic book appearance. It's a pretty well-known thing. Uh, well, at least in, in my circles, that's a pretty well-known thing. And then, a phoenix is a type of bird that, in, like, mythology, always resurrects if you kill it. You really can't kill a phoenix. And then, that's a play on Joaquin Phoenix. So, he's saying they had, you know, a phoenix play me because I can't be killed. That's a really cool way to start things off. I'm the Harlequin of hate, the clown prince of crime. In case you don't know, Harlequin means something besides the Joker's girlfriend. We're not going to get into that right now. I'm your sewer troll that Stephen King wrote between his lines. <laughs> sewer troll that Stephen King wrote between his lines. That's, uh, I'm assuming a cocaine reference, because, you know, Stephen King, uh, he gets down. <laughs> it's like cocaine. You know what I said. <laughs> I think that's my. All right, that that was awesome. We're gonna let that play through to the to the actual punchline. Hold on. Harlequin of hate, the clown prince of crime, your sewer troll that Stephen King wrote between his lines. <laughs> it's like cocaine. You know what I said. I um, I haven't addressed this yet. Vocally, he definitely has that Mark Hamill vibe, which I appreciate. But I love in any diss track, whether it's trying to be comical or not, when someone like explains their bar in a sarcastic manner like yeah that that's what my bar means so just in case you missed it i like that i don't know how any kind of joke could ever go over that head they all float all right so we have a man this is so bar heavy i'm sorry i'm pausing so much but i don't want to let any of this slide because this is this is really good so he's you know saying it has a huge head so how could a bar go over your head right after he just mansplained a bar so he's saying well i don't know 
how it could have gone over your head anyway. Your head's so freaking enormous and dumb. What I said, I don't know how any kind of joke could ever go over that head. They all float, says the quote, but your films, they all sink. Uh, I don't know the accuracy of that one. There's, you know, I, the, the bar, they all float, but your films sink. His first made-for-TV thing for a made-for-TV movie actually did super well. And the other two it movies have done super well, so I get the bar, but I don't think it's accurate. Oh, and as far as Mr. King goes, I'm a shining man. Wait, I All right, so he's just taking a jab, saying I don't like it. I like the shining. So as far as King goes, I'm more of a shining guy. Wink, wink. You know, just a little jab, jab. <laughs> I made the Justice League look like just a bunch of super slugs. You lost to a herd of nerds who call themselves a losers club. You All right, so now he's flexing on who's the better supervillain. The Joker's taken down the Justice League before, which is pretty impressive, and he's saying, you got beat by a bunch of kids who call themselves the Losers Club, so, uh, what you doing? You be gobbled up in Gotham, so stick to your small town, where you're renowned, to see if it's brown, flush it down, clown! <laughs> Shit, clown. He. <laughs> Are you joking? Okay, okay, let me, let me lead into Pennywise. Um, uh, Joker came out with some heat. There was a couple bars that I didn't love, but man, there was some depth to that. Let's see what Pennywise does. You're renowned to see if it's brown, flush it down, cloud. Are you joking? I, I love the voice already, though, by the way. It's good job. You want to rap? Rap, 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 I'm loving the vocals of this. I just the... the that bar was such a Pennywise thing to do, just like not even caring about what's going on, just more interested in being demented and scary than making a point. I love that bar, even though it's not really a bar. I just love what they did there. What a rap! Rap, 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 uh, I'm, the, right now, the, the voice, I'm still not over it. Like, yeah, the other voice is a pretty good Mark Hamill, but I feel like Pennywise is using the Pennywise more deliberately in how he's delivering the bars, and it's it's paying dividends. It works really well. You're supposed to be the man who laughs, but those jokes are like your new movie. Uh, uh, mostly really sad. Babe. You're John Doe with my deadlights, and you're about to fall from a new height. All right, so deadlights is the little lights inside of its mouth that kills you. You're John Doe in my deadlights. So in other words, you know, the Joker usually isn't defined. So you're just a nothingness that dies in my deadlights. Basically calling the Joker nobody. Because you're weak and you've lost every fight. Good night, who wears underwear over his tie? So now just, you know, turning back the whole I beat the Justice League. He's kind of bringing that back. If you want to talk about who beat you, you get beaten by some dude who's in a Halloween costume with underwear over it. You're about to fall from a new height Cause you're weak and you've lost every fight Good night who wears underwear over his ties <laughs> Hot nightmares and I'm ruthless These battles like poker, the Joker is useless Ooh. <laughs> Battles like poker, the Joker is useless So you know if you're playing poker the, you, If you have a deck that has Jokers in it You take those cards out cause They're useless, it's not part of poker I like it When he's not in your cards, call me Arkham Asylum I'm crazy with bars that's some cool CG, right? They did a pretty good job mimicking the open mouth, deadlights and everything, and then, you know, Arkham Asylum, crazy with bars. Um, I'm just going to roll it back and appreciate that again. This battle's like poker, the Joker is useless. When he's not in your cards, tell me Arkham Asylum, I'm crazy with bars! Jack Nichols and Blade is fine, but lately the class is declined. Jared Leto came out trying to look like he was Dakashi 6 9 <laughs> All right, so we all, oh, I feel like this diss has been done in all of these modern versions where it's like, man, Joker, you can't represent based on the fact that Jared Leto Joker exists. I mean, poor Joker. Yeah, his whole legacy got kicked in the teeth with that one. Oof. And Takashi 69 face tatted mumble rapper who's also a total rat and a fake gangster. He did gang stuff and committed crimes, but he's not, he's not real because he's a pansy. Anyway. But lately the class is declined. Jared Leto came out trying to look like he was Takashi 69. So unless you've got a yummy younger brother, I think you'd better run. Cause I've got 99 red balloons, bitch. And I don't gonna take one. Alright, we got a Jay-Z reference. Uh, 99 problems with a bitch ain't one, but he's saying 99 
Red Bloons, dare you to take one. He talked about a younger, yummy brother, so basically saying that he's not really into the Joker because he's an adult, which is kind of a creepy thing, but I mean, Pennywise usually preys on children, so I guess that makes sense. Go back in your well, you giggling sewer ginger. Giggling sewer ginger. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting, awesome insult. You lost to a turtle and wasn't even a ninja. When I okay. I get to have a lot of nerd fun on this. The whole you got beat by a turtle that wasn't even a ninja is because in the actual book version, the kids have an aura that is like the turtle. They allude to this a little in the new It movies by seeing like a turtle swimming with the kids every now and then. Uh, just because uh, as kind of a wink to the source material. But in the book, it was a big thing. Like... It was an interdimensional entity. It was like a alien super being in, in, uh, that lived in Derry, Maine for some reason. And the kids were able to have the aura of the turtle that was another interdimensional super being that could fight it. So in the movies, they oversimplify how they beat it to the kids are brave. But the kids' bravery wouldn't mean anything if they weren't so intertwined and had such a good relationship and a bond through the turtle. Because the kids themselves are not who beat it in the book uh, but trying to put that on the screen is kind of weird so it's easier to just say the kids are brave and that kills it but i like that they're making reference to that that you got beat by a turtle that wasn't even a ninja ninja turtles reference that was a really cool bar to geek out on i i like those little details uh, fun fact the uh the the kids sewer orgy if you've ever heard of that in the book the kids sewer orgy that happens when you know beth has a train run on her by the rest of the losers club that happens because they're trying to get out of the sewer and the aura of the turtle isn't strong enough and you know running a chain on a did i call her beth instead of beverly oh, beverly is the uh the only way anyway back to this i flow i go mark ham with ill vigor there we go we got mark hamill going mark hamill so we we have appreciated the great mark hamill it wasn't even a ninja. When I flow, I go mock ham with ill zigger. I steal the show like Bob Kane stole for Bill Bigger. Okay. That's it, D Wow. Alright, let me go back. I steal the show like Bob Kane stole for Bill Bigger. That's it, D Wow. Every joke of mine stings. So I'm guessing the spit acid would be more of a reference to the fact that most iterations of the Joker fell in a vat of acid, and that's why his skin is white. It's not actually makeup in most comic book versions, so he's saying he spits the acid. There we go. Woo! It's so for Bill Bigger! I spit acid, be loud! Every joke of mine stings! Your three nightlights in a cloud beat by the kid from Stranger Things! Alright, so he's making fun of the death lights being like little night lights and a little cloud of whatever beat by the kid from Stranger Things. One of the people in the Losers Club and the new version of it is one of the kids who plays one of the kids of Stranger Things. Oh my goodness, there's so much here! When I compare your antics to the fiendish schemes I revel in, they pale like the moonlight you can dance with the devil in. Woo! We're going. One more verse. Let's go, Pennywise. Pennywise likes the devil. We have so much fun together. <laughs> I like that start. I like the devil. We have so much fun together, Lou. And man, this voice is still... I love it. But no one's dying to play with Joker. Except for maybe he's like it! Whoa! <laughs> Hold on. So much fun together. But no one's dying to play with Joker. Except for maybe he's like it! But Oh, the delivery of that when he went crazy and no one's dying to play the Joker except for Heath Ledger who died after playing the Joker. I think there was another one I did that I thought maybe there was a Heath Ledger bar, but this one they just they just went for the jugular. They're like, no, we're not going to do like a sneak Heath Ledger bar. We're, we're going there because we are going to exemplify something that Pennywise would do, which is mention screwed up stuff and laugh about it. Fun together, but no one's dying to play with Joker. Except for maybe he's like it! What you're an embarrassment! Cause him pudding as if he was Harley Quinn. Beat you like you beat Harley Quinn. That and now we mentioned Harley Quinn, he'll beat you like Joker beats Harley Quinn. Because Joker's a very abusive boyfriend, if you didn't know. Her. Except for maybe he's like it! What you're an embarrassment! I beat you like you beat Harley Quinn. That purple suit is something you should only see the holy <laughs> Purple suit. Uh, uh, oh, don't be hating on my man Steve Harvey. I love his suits. Ah! <laughs> I face all your fears. On the dairy main attraction every 27 years. The dairy main attraction. Hey! But you know what? 
very secret. It's like a very special toy. If you wanna kill a Batman, eat him when he's a boy. Ooh. You gonna go after baby Bruce Wayne? He's so screwed up. Don't you lay a finger on my bat, you little freak! <laughs> now Joker's going into the version of Joker that is always like, I love Batman, though. I, I am enjoying this so much. Or I will spend a whole week knocking out those prickle teeth! <laughs> Tell your author for his next gangbang scene, how about a little more PG and a lot less 13? All right, so we've come full circle. He's mentioning the orgy scene from the book, and he's like, maybe a little more toned down and not as many 13-year-olds having a game bang would be nice. I can't disagree with that, Joker. Even I wouldn't stoop to that kind of impropriety. This is Earth, you space demon. We live in a society! <laughs> And we got the meme. We live in a society. Joker having a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a self-ribbon there, I guess. I've seen your movies, so I know you don't hurry. But I'll shoot you down the drain so fast, so call you Tim Scurry. Hey, Tim Curry got a shout-out finally. And he said Tim Scurry, because like scurrying around. And uh, he was just making fun of how long the It movies are. I don't think they're that long. I think they're appropriate length for how much story's told. But hey, what do I know? Let's go. Ask Robin if I draw bars, I take smiles, and I leave scars. Ooh! Ask Robin if I drop bars, I just, oh, because of the time that he, like, beat Robin to death with the bar, I think is what we're talking about. I'm pretty sure that's what he, that's what he meant. Oof, Dick Grayson. I think that's the Dick Grayson Robin who Joker beats to death. Nerds, assemble and correct me if I'm wrong, or assemble and comment how right I am on that... I think that Dick Grayson's the one that Joker beats to death with a bar. Or crowbar or something. And so call you Tim Scurry! Ask Robin if I drop bars, I take smiles, and I leave scars! Cards in Arkham will admit that the Joker just killed it! That's... Solid. Solid ending. Let's... For that verse, let's see what Pennywise says. Arkham! <laughs> He stole that from H.P. Lovecraft. All right, talking about, you know, who stole whose literature. Joker just killed it! Arkham, ha! He stole that from H.P. Lovecraft. Who needs cards when you couldn't even escape Cesar Romero's mustache? <laughs> Cesar Romero! Oh my goodness, I'm so geeking out on this right now. So Cesar Romero played the Joker way back in the Adam West Joker days. So we're going way, 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 way back to the, what was that, the 60s probably? And Cesar Romero, you know, he did a lot of other stuff at the time besides playing the Joker. He enjoyed playing the Joker, but he would not shave his mustache to play the Joker. So they literally just put white makeup over it and especially if you see new versions or um, not new versions but if you see like restored versions of the old adam west batman you could see the mustache so it's like you it, pennywise is here saying you can't even get rid of caesar romero's mustache what what threat are you jester i'm on dresser but i'm making my fortnight uh, and see you this battle up like it was the cast cover my tornado holy crap that was a lot of layers guys I spent January Ember Flames, the freaking poem that is written to them. January Ember Flames and the us. How are there so many subtle reference bars right now? Like it was the cast, cover my tornado. I spent January Ember Flames, you got beat by the Scooby Gang. Uh, now we're talking about crossovers and the old Scooby-Doo when Scooby-Doo was crossovered with every celebrity. Sometimes Scooby-Doo paired up with Batman and even they beat the Joker. Holy cow, the references! Ask of a month when I do. Who's with January Ember Flames? You got beat by the Scooby Gang. The John Wayne, the John Wayne, they see the underground clown party with flows insane! Underground Clown Posse, so he insane Clown Posse reference to back up his bars. Wayne Gacy, the serial killing clown references. John Wayne was like the epic Western guy mixed with John Wayne Gacy. Like, oh my goodness, there is so much here. Poster boy for missing person posters, Joker's gonna float with me. Cause he just messed with the best wildlife rappers, it's a notorious B.I.G. <laughs> what? 
And when you're done with your seeds, the underground clown party will flow insane. Poster boy for missing person posters, Joker's gonna float with me. Cause he just messed with the best wildlife rappers, it's a notorious B.I.G. <laughs> I need to apologize. I don't think I've ever paused a video I've reacted to that many times, ever. That was just so, like, there wasn't a single bar that I didn't want to comment on. There's plenty of times that I've seen videos with bar after bar after bar after bar, but I didn't really want to comment on all of them because a lot of them was like, eh. This had like only two or three bars that I didn't want to like talk about because of how good they were. Like, holy crap. Who won? I don't know. Like, I feel like no matter what, whoever I choose to have won, I'm going to be wrong and someone's going to tell me why I'm wrong and I might agree with them. Oh, man. I mean, this seals it. Don't ask me to react to any more Joker versus Pennywise because it's just going to look like a giant turd sandwich compared to this. I can promise you that. The last two I've given to Pennywise over the Joker. And I was thinking I was gonna give this one to Pennywise again, and then I was like, I don't wanna give it to Pennywise all three times, but that last verse by Pennywise, and I love the sound of him, but then that first verse by Joker. Oh, I don't know, guys. No. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm doing it. I, I'm like 50-50. I'm just choosing one because people would demand that I choose one. I just enjoyed the ride, so. Until next time, jeez, I scheme, you scheme, we all scheme for ice cream. Bye! Crap. Can't do me like that, ERB. I wasn't ready.